What's going on everybody? It's Pi Guy back here again today. We're going to be going over how to set your clock on Cody in either a Fire Stick or a Raspberry Pi. There are two different ways to do it uh, depending on what system you're running it on. So right now I'm on a Raspberry Pi running out of a track mode. And if you are running on a Pi, it doesn't matter if it's a track mode or emulation station. It's all the same. Um, so you're going to hop into your Cody. Um, uh, we all come in, we all use different builds I should say. Uh, I happen to be running on Cody Krypton, and the build I'm using is from Spins TV, and it's their Hard Knocks build. I like it. It's pretty flashy and cool. has some nice features. Uh, the most default things for movies and TV will run out of um, Exodus, so that's pretty cool. Um, when the snaps, uh, the shortcuts pop up here, uh, it'll all be Exodus. I can click on movies. It's Exodus, so I like this build works for me but anyway back to business so if you look here on the top right hand side of the screen uh we have the date and time i'm on the east coast and it is almost quarter after eight right now and it's still february this says wednesday march 1st and it's uh two i don't know if it's a.m or p.m wherever this is set uh so we're gonna change that so hop over to system doesn't matter what build you're in you're gonna have a way to get to system um, it might be located elsewhere. Usually they're all pretty similar, uh, but just depends on your build. You have to find it. Um, once you go on the system, you're going to go over to interface and hop down to regional. And this is the issue. Um, these pop-ups are just my uh, wizard doing its cleaning thing, so don't worry about that. Um, but you can see my time zone country is currently set right now to Vatican City. Um, not going to work for me over here on the U.S., so I'm going to go up and... Flip it over there. Uh, my clock format. I want to put that to a 12 hour clock. Some people like military time, not me. And here in my time zone, I'm on the East Coast, so I'm actually going to leave it to New York. And all this other stuff here is really going to update automatically. If you want to tweak the formatting, you can. It doesn't really make a difference to me. I just like it plain and simple. So now if we go back, now we're on the right date and time. The other thing I wanted to go over was how to set up your weather app. Um, that's also very simple, and, you know, why not just have it there? So to do that, you go back in the system. You go to Services, and you want to hop down to Weather. And we need to complete an action of getting the weather. To do that, we need an add-on. By default, usually there's not anything here. You just click on Get More, and it'll bring up a whole list you can choose from. I already installed Yahoo. It only takes a few seconds for it to install. Um, and then if you go into settings, you can, you can, uh, enter a location. You can type in a city. Um, I already have mine preset to Philadelphia, so I'm just going to select that, but you guys can enter in whatever works for you. Um, and just hit okay. Now when I back out, you can see in a second here, the five day forecast pops up and there's also, um, the current temperature displayed on the top just before the date. So that is very simple, very straightforward to do on a Raspberry Pi. The Fire Stick is a little bit different. There's just one extra step. So I'm going to flip my television input here over to my Fire Stick, which is showing me some nice scenic views. Um, so on my Fire Stick, basically you're going to follow the same steps. You can see here on the top right, it's, it's at the wrong time. The date's right, but the time's off. So I'm going to hop into System again. Just like I did before, go to interface. I want to go to regional. Now this is set UK. I don't really want UK. What I want is US 12 hour. And everything actually updates here to the US automatically. See, it works a little different. Before I had to pick um, where I want it, the exact region and the country that I want it. And then I can select individually the formats. You just pick US here and everything else changes. Okay, well, that's cool. But what if your, your time is off? My time is actually correct. It's at 817, and that's just because I did this ahead of time so I can have it ready for you guys. But what if yours is three hours behind? Well, believe it or not, it's not a setting in Cody. It's a setting in the Fire Stick itself. So if you hold down your home button for a few seconds, you'll get this menu and just hop over to settings. It doesn't matter if you're on the newer released Fire Stick with the quad core, uh, quad core processor 
or if you're on an older one that had the dual core, you'll know because um, if you're not sure, you'll know because the newer one has that button on top to activate uh, voice commands. Um, the older one did not have that. It's a little bit shorter of a remote. So if you're on the older one, you're going to scroll over to device. But on the newer one, you want to hop into preferences. And then your preferences, you go to time zone, and it's right here. You can pick whatever time zones are relevant to you. I'm going to leave mine on the Eastern Standard, and that will update the clock in Kodi. So it's a little bit different on the Fire Stick. You would think everything would be in Kodi. It actually took me quite a long time to figure that out, longer than I like to admit. But uh, you, have to, you have to update it within the Fire Stick itself, where is the Pi. All the settings are right there in Kodi. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Let me know that helped you out. I uh, appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. And uh, just let me know if you have any future topics you want me to cover. Thanks.